My first exposure to marijuana was during a Friday night program at my local masjid. You know, we think these problems don't affect our community, but they do. A group of older teenage girls brought a couple of joints and smoked them in the bathroom. Honestly, I don't think our parents would have believed us, except that they got caught. Just working with youth throughout the United States, I think one of the things that we've seen is that there, it has, there has been an increase. You know, it's, 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 it's a pressure, right? It's a pressure, it's something that everyone's doing it, so why can't we do it? A lot of other challenges have to do with uh, relationships, whether it's one's relationships with uh, one's parents, or one's relationship with uh, a romantic partner. We have some severe ailments that are plaguing our community and we need to begin to think strategically and intentionally about how to resolve those problems. So Islam is not like this uh, you know, immunity pill that you take and it protects you from everything immediately. We have to be very concerned about this age group. Are they getting everything that they need? Are we listening? Are we paying attention um, to what their concerns are? What are the issues facing our young people? Because we think, you know, if they're Muslim, that should be enough. The type of work that the FYI does is to really center those youth voices to say we have to be more responsive. So as a psychologist, I would see my clients and day after day, I would feel sad because many of the problems that they were dealing with could have easily been prevented with some basic education. I really wanted to have that broader audience and get that, get the information on how do you strengthen your family, how do you build a stronger marriage, how, you know, what are the issues facing Muslim youth. We wanted a platform to educate individuals and empowering them so that they can live happy, fulfilled lives and be in meaningful relationships. We've identified four focus areas that can really have the greatest impact. Youth development, parenting, marriages, and mental health. We learn in this workshop the complexity of all these issues and that complexity necessitates, necessitates empathy and understanding um, uh, of the youth and, and how they grow and how they develop. I would definitely absolutely recommend um, that any community um, take on this workshop. The FYI actually takes the research and puts it in words that, you know, and in information that the average person can understand. So there's that translation between the, the research and um, the ev everyday people. But with the infographics and also kind of like the brief um, videos, it gives like essential information really quickly, concisely, clearly. The historical approach in our community has been this very ad hoc, subjective approach, but now with institutions like FYI, we're able to really bring to the fore um, institutionalized, authentic research that solves and begins to address the greater questions that we're facing. When you think about marriage preparation, think about how you prepare for going to school or choosing a career. The challenge is that oftentimes communities are attempting to provide certain services, but they're not research-based and they don't have the data to support it. You know, the beautiful thing about FYI is that we're able to utilize both research and practice and uh, bring the two together to be able to, um, you know, do the best that we can to address a range of issues. It's really hard for the average person or for anyone just to pick up, you know, to go and dig into the literature and the research and try to figure out what that means to the everyday person and FYI is able to do that. It has helped me find all the information that I need. Like It's almost like a one-stop shop to get information, get ideas, get research for me to become a better educator, parent, better youth, uh, better youth activist. And I was actually thrilled to discover an organization like the FYI because we're constantly trying to look for resources for people who are thinking about um, how to address challenges in mental health, especially around marriage and family, um, youth development. So I, I felt like I struck like a pot of gold. The feedback that we've gotten from community members is the resources that we're providing are unique because of the fact that the FYI is very importantly research-based. And then the analysis that's done, we try to publish in academic journals, present at academic conferences, that forces and pushes us to make sure that we maintain that level of professionalism, that the analysis that we do would be accepted in academic rigor. 
The Family and Youth Institute has humble beginnings and a hopeful future. The FYI will continue to educate and empower individuals, families, and communities through both research and education efforts that promote positive youth development, healthy marriages, effective parenting, and mental health and well-being. Check us out on Facebook or online at www.thefyi.org.